Silent here from Tasiki Gaming. Uh, just doing a another video, just following up on my previous ones in regards to the uh, Ryzen 750800X 3D. Um, there's actually a new BIOS out for uh, certain motherboards, mine included the MSI B550 Gaming Plus. Um, this BIOS allows um, further controls. Um, within the actual BIOS itself in relation to sort of power saving features under uh, PBO2 settings. Um, so I've kind of gone over what PBO2 and Curve Optimizer is in previous videos, however just I'll be brief. Um, with the 5800X 3D um, you can set your own PBO2 values which is essentially lower sort of um, power values um, by reducing these we can help to reduce the temperatures even further um, which helps to sort of prolong the life of the processor and um, means it uses less power, runs cooler, performs better in games and things like that. So I'll just quickly run over um, how you would download the BIOS, get it ready to be installed um, within the uh, MSI uh, BIOS itself. So. I've already done this but I'll just show you on it. So for mine, if we just search for MSI B550 Gaming Plus BIOS, head to the MSI website and under BIOS here, the BIOS version that we're looking for is 7C56V1D. Um, so I just hit download and um, just quickly show so extract that and then you'll be left with this folder here so just double click there and this file here .1d0 that's the actual BIOS uh, file itself so if you just click on copy and you need a blank uh, USB stick now for some reason this doesn't seem to work with MSI motherboards if you're using a large memory stick, so the one that I'm using is just a bog standard USB 2 uh, SanDisk memory stick and it's 32 gigabyte capacity. So just copy that file uh, into the memory stick. And because it's USB 2, it's a bit slow to copy, but that's fine. Um, so with that in the USB stick, um, I've got it plugged into my front. Uh, the front of the computer but you can use any of the uh, USB parts on the back uh, so with that on the memory stick uh, go ahead and restart your computer so with the uh, the new BIOS file on the memory stick and the memory stick installed in the computer you want to restart the computer hit the delete key you'll be then be brought into the BIOS menu here to flash the new BIOS click on M flash and it'll bring up a message saying the computer will reboot and enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? Click yes. Uh, now I've not actually done this in the video here, but once you click yes, the computer will restart. It'll bring up a menu similar to the BIOS and it'll have a list of files. It should have the USB stick that you've got there. So you click on that and then the BIOS file will be listed. Click that. It'll bring up a warning about do not turn the computer off, do not interrupt it. Just click OK. A computer will flash the new BIOS file to the motherboard and then it will restart. So once it restarts hit the delete key again and you'll be back in the BIOS menu and you can confirm that the new BIOS file has been flashed to the motherboard by double checking here at the top it should show the correct BIOS file. So once you've done that click on settings, click on advanced and click on AMD overclocking you'll be presented with another message here warning saying any damage caused to the CPU is not covered under the warranty which is fine click accept and then click on precision boost overdrive and then within here click on advanced for PBO change the limits to manual and then enter the following numbers here I found these online recommended by another user and um, they help to reduce temperatures power draw whilst allowing the processor to boost uh, its speeds. So enter 100 for PPT, 65 for TDC and 90 for EDC. Then click on Curve Optimizer 
and change the curve optimizer to all cores and then negative and then 30. Um, as I've already covered in previous videos this essentially just reduces the amount of voltage ultimately power that the process is using to reduce temperatures and it will allow the CPU uh, to continue boosting whilst not being held back by uh, how it's at higher temperatures so once you've done that click F10 now my video here will say I've not made any changes yours obviously will be different it'll list all the changes that we've just made click yes and the computer will restart back into Windows so back in Windows I'm going to run a quick Cinebench R23 uh, stress test I've got GPU Z open, uh, which will show us the CPU temperatures, and then CPU Z, which will show the frequency and the voltage that the processor is running at. So I'll go ahead and run a quick uh, multi core test. And whilst this is running, um, you can see here the frequency that the processor is boosting to, and keep an eye on the CPU temperature here. Um, Whereas before on stock settings the CPU temperature will be much higher. You can see here with the new um, power limits that we've set using PVO2, the temperatures are much, much lower. Um, you probably see like up, up and over 80 degrees here. But you can see the uh, temperatures are steady at 64 degrees Celsius, which is completely acceptable for this processor. Um, the CPU that I've got is cooled with a full custom water cool loop um, and the thermal paste that I'm using is Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. Um, so you can see the score there, 14,577 and the temperatures will quickly drop back down. So I hope this video has been of use. If you have any questions please post them on the video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, bye.